Now, for the last part, we've got to find the smallest value of n for which the sum of the first n terms of this series exceeds 1,000. How many terms have we got to have then for this to be greater than 1,000? Well, we know that a is 256, the first term. The common ratio we found out earlier is 3 quarters. So, we should know as well a formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. That formula is given as Sn equals a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n all divided by 1 minus r. And you should be familiar with this formula. So all we need to do is substitute our values into this formula and say that it's greater than a thousand and then just work it out for n. n being a power though it's going to involve logs and you can be very careful when you solve this inequality with logs as you'll see later on but you might like to pause the video and have a go at this stage and just see how you get on and come back in a few moments and I'll run through the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, the first term A, we'll just substitute that in, is going to be 256 then, multiplied by 1 minus, I'll put that in square brackets, 1 minus 3 quarters. I'm going to call 3 quarters 0.75. I feel it'd be easier to work with. And that's to the power N. And all of this is divided by 1 minus 3 quarters, okay? 1 minus 0 0.75. And that's got to be greater than 1,000. So we've got 1 minus 0 0.75, that's 0 0.25. And we could divide 256 by 0 0.25. If you do that, you're going to get 1,024. 1024 then multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.75 to the power n which is greater than a thousand. Then what would I want to do? I think we'll divide both sides by 1024 at this stage. So if we do that we get 1 minus 0 0.75 to the power n is greater than 1,000 divided by 1,024. Let's just write that in, okay? 1,000 divided by 1,024. And you've got to be careful with inequalities. If you divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number, remember you must reverse the inequality sign. We were dividing by 1,024, a positive value, so no problems there. So, if we just work out what this part is, we've got 1 minus 0 0.75 to the power n is greater than, and if you do that division, you end up with 0 0.97656 and so on. Okay, well let's carry on down here. And what I'd want to do next, now I'm going to take this in slow stages, okay, you might want to jump stages, but I'm purposely doing this in slow stages so that you can see my methods, okay? So let us now take 0 0.97656 and so on from both sides and we'll add 0.75 to the power n to both sides. So Therefore, what we're going to have is 1 minus 0 0.97656 and so on is greater than, okay, greater than, it's a bit messy there, greater than 0 0.75 to the power n. And now I'm just going to reverse this round. We can, we can subtract this, okay, um, we end up with 0.02343 and so on, which is greater than 0.75 to the power n. So if I reverse that round, I can say that 0.75 to the power n must be less than the result of this value, which is, as I said earlier, 0.02343 and so on. Now we need to get to this power n. 
And you could do this by just trial and improvement. You could keep typing into your calculator various integer values of n until you find that you just get below this value, okay? But I wouldn't really encourage that. I would suggest that you do this by logs, right? And that's what I'm going to do. We'll take logs to both sides of this. So we get log of 0.75 to the power n must be less than the log of 0.02343 and so on. Then we can use the power rule for logs. Remember if you've got a power on something where you've got the log of it, you can bring this power out to the front. So this becomes n multiplied by the log of 0.75 and that is less than the log of 0.02343 and so on. Now this is a bit you've got to take care of. I often find so many people do not notice this bit. We're going to divide both sides by the log of 0.75. But the log of 0.75 doesn't look as if it's a negative number. You check it out on your calculator, it is. And that means we've got to divide, divide by a negative number. And if you divide by a negative number, remember we turn the inequality round. So we get that n is greater than the log of 0.02343 and so on, divided by the log of 0.75. Okay, so be careful, as I say, on that part there. It's a well known fact that the log of any number less than 1 is going to give you a negative number. Any number less than 1 but greater than 0, I should say, really, gives you a negative number. Check it out, as I say, on your calculator. Take care, you're dividing by a negative number, it doesn't look like it, so we must reverse the inequality. Well, if you do that sum, okay, you find that you get n is greater than 13.047 and so on. So when it comes to the smallest value of n, therefore the smallest value of n must equal 14. Remember, n has got to be an integer. Okay, so smallest value of n, it's got to be this value, so it's going to be 14. So quite a lot of work there. I've taken it in slow stages, hopefully so you can see, uh, if stuck at all, how I've broken the problem down. All right.